Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last episode, we talked about sacrifices in the afterlife, and this time, what happens if you don't like the plans of God? Can you still get to heaven? And if so, what would life be like for you there? Before we get too far into this subject, there are a few distinctions to be made. First, we need to distinguish between not liking the plans of God and not liking the plans of those or some of those who claim to be doing his will. Lots of people say they're doing the will of God, and lots of people really are doing the will of God, but in the end they're all still people and they make mistakes. Disliking some plan of theirs, or even all of their plans in general, has no impact on whether you can get to heaven or enjoy being there. There are quite a number of people who claim to be serving God, who I neither like the plans of, nor do I like them personally, but that doesn't matter because they're not the reason for loving God. Another distinction that it's helpful to make is between the actual plans of God and the way things turn out in real life. Often, for a variety of reasons, the results of our everyday experiences are tragic in the extreme. A loved one gets cancer, or a favorite restaurant burns to the ground, or an evil law is passed, or even the destruction of whole cities due to natural disasters or economic catastrophes. These things happen. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they're part of God's plan for the world. He didn't necessarily design the world with the intention of these awful events happening, especially in the case of social and economic factors, which come about as the result of faulty human choices. These things are often not part of God's plan, so disliking them, again, has no effect on whether we can reach or enjoy heaven. Also, certain things are beyond the control of God, such as his own nature. God can't change his nature, for example, so that he becomes bitter and unhappy. That would be contrary to the nature of God. Because he can't do this, it's not really part of his plan, any more than it's part of our plan to have only one torso when we wake up tomorrow morning. When I speak of disliking the plans of God, what this means is that there's something about God's actual plan for mankind, such as saving some souls or allowing human free will, that you don't like and may even greatly dislike. Obviously, if that dislike also leads to disobedience, that would be a sin, and sinning affects the state of our souls. But is it a problem to simply dislike the plan itself without disobeying God? Well, St. Paul says that God will reward each man according to what he has done, not according to whether he likes doing it. But once you've been accepted into heaven, then what? Will it be harder for you not being able to appreciate the plan of God? Well, first off, the plan of God is objectively better than the plan of any person. Secondly, those in heaven have access to enough knowledge to understand why God allowed certain events to occur, since that would be a more perfect level of knowledge than not possessing it. So, we would understand why God's plan was the best plan. The souls in heaven also don't have grudges or other bad and obstructive feelings that keep them from admitting when a good thing is good. So... Most, if not all, of those in heaven would grasp the reasons behind God's plan. However, suppose that for some reason you decided to continue not liking it. Even in that case, your ability to appreciate heaven wouldn't be diminished. You would still recognize the great triumph and joy of heaven, even though you might not like the methods that were used to reach it. The same way that we can enjoy an animated movie, even though we might not like the sleazy company that produced it. It's not even necessary for us to like God himself in order to enjoy heaven. We just need to be willing to honor and obey God, to treat him with the virtue of charity with all our hearts, souls, and minds. All of that amounts to making decisions. It doesn't require that we like or enjoy it. But suppose that you like things to be a certain way, and God, it seems, doesn't. Well, next time, what if my aesthetics are different from God's? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.